today I'm currently jointing some boards to, to glue up into larger panels. I thought I'd show you a way of doing that by hand at the workbench, nice and easily, nice and accurately, and nice and quickly. So what I've arranged here is the board I'm planing, I'm lifting off the bench on top of a second board. Now they're roughly the same thickness, so I need to make sure the top one overlaps this at the front. So I've just put a little spacer in here. I put a fence at the back and that's just jammed in there between some boards and the bench dogs on the back of the bench. But you could easily set up a system where you've got one baseboard connected to another one with a fence either screwed into it or maybe in some dowel holes where you can get it closer to one edge. But this is a very simple way of doing it because you'll always have some pieces around that you can use to, to pack out. So the board you're planing sits on the first board, overlapping at the front. The plane rides on the bench. And because this board is, is up high, then the plane blade can contact it all the way along. Now, as long as the iron is at 90 degrees to the bench or a baseboard that you could use instead, then you know you're going to get a plumb cut, 90 degree cut on the side of the, the workpiece, which of course is what you want when you're jointing boards. Now, you don't need to have the sides of the plane at 90 degrees to the sole. Ideally, you would have, but if you haven't, you can use the lateral adjuster on the plane to set that iron at 90 degrees to the bench top. And basically what you do is you check the board after you've taken a, a shot down the side of it. So you take your first shaving. Like so. Take an accurate square. Check your edge. And if you needed to, you could adjust the plane with the lateral adjuster until you've made sure that you're getting the 90 degree edge on the board that you want. And I've just shown you that on a number three plane. So you can use this with a number eight, which is ideal because it's nice and long, nice and heavy, works really well. But a smaller plane as well will work as long as it's high enough so the blade is contacting the work. Now a long plane with a few shavings will quite quickly straighten this edge, which is something you want when you're jointing as well. But if you're using a short plane like this, um, you can be following a bumpy edge and you'll never get it straight. So one thing you can do to alleviate that is to make sure that the base of the plane, this part here where the blade doesn't come through, follows a straight edge. So perhaps the board underneath, you'd have a piece of MDF and you plane that with the plane on the bench and that'll take away everything above where the blade comes out and it'll leave you a straight edge to guide the plane right at the base. And you can set your workpiece towards the edge of that and keep planing until the plane contacts that straight edge and it will follow through the work and take out any lumps and bumps in it. But I just find this a really easy method, quick to set up on the bench for any sort of length. I mean it's very good for short pieces as well. You don't have to think about how you're holding the plane other than it's tracking on the bench top. Jointing the edge of the board when it's upright like so, freehand with the plane, can be quite tricky because you need to, if you want them at 90 degrees, you've got to hold the plane at 90 degrees. And you've also got to keep that the whole the way through the cut. So much easier just to jig it up like this. Quick to set up. Works every time. One thing to check for is you've got a full shaving all the way along. Once you've done that, you know you've got a flat edge, a straight edge, and an edge that's at 90 degrees 
ready for jointing your boards. Now of course you want to make sure you've got a nice sharp iron. You want to rub a bit of wax down the side of the plane that's rubbing on the bench and a little bit down the sole of the plane. If you want to create a slight hollow in the middle of the length, sometimes useful in jointing, just makes it a little bit tighter on the ends. You can take stop shavings, starting just inside one end, ending just inside the other, a few times and then one pass all the way through, which gives you that characteristic of a board that will rotate at either end rather than in the middle.